As the election counting halls across England buzz with anticipation, the scene is set for a melodrama of Tory woes. Disgruntled Conservative councillors, their faces etched with concern and uncertainty, awaiting their electoral fate. As the results begin to trickle in, the scale of Rishi Sunak's setback begins to become apparent. In a turn of events that can only be described as mildly surprising, Labour's Chris Webb secured victory in the parliamentary seat of Blackpool South. The magnitude of his win, however, was significant, with a swing of 26% from the Tories. The people of Blackpool South have spoken for Britain. They have said to Rishi Sunak and to the Conservatives, they've had enough. The Tories narrowly avoided an embarrassing descent into third place in Blackpool South, clinging on with a mere 117 vote lead over Reform UK. Although many councils are yet to declare their votes, initial outcomes do not bode well for the Prime Minister. Election analysts have issued warnings suggesting that the Conservatives may be on track to lose approximately 500 seats, potentially marking their worst performance in four decades. Amid this electoral turbulence, Sir Keir Starmer celebrated what he termed a seismic win for Labour in the Blackpool South by-election. Here in Blackpool, a message has been sent directly to the Prime Minister directly to the Prime Minister, because this was a parliamentary vote. This was directly to Rishi Sunak to say we're fed up with your decline, your chaos and your division, and we want change. Chris Webb's victory marked the third largest swing from the Conservatives to Labour in a by-election since the Second World War. These losses have fueled speculation about internal discontent within the Tory ranks with rumours swirling of a potential rebel plot to oust the Prime Minister in anticipation of further poor local election results. Rishi Sunak spoke of his disappointment. It's disappointing to lose good, hard-working Conservative councillors, and I'm grateful to them for all their service in local government, keeping council tax low and delivering services for local people. But we've still got lots of results to come as well. Despite the prevailing gloom, it appears that not all Tories have lost their fighting spirit. Councillor Dan Swords hailed an incredible victory at Harlow Council, where the party's majority was cut from nine to a solitary one. This is an incredible result. Uh, you know, it's no secret the Conservative Party is in a difficult place at the moment. But here in Harlow, we have bucked that trend. We have won the council. You know, the Labour Party was sending shadow minister after shadow minister down Keir Starmer and Angela Rayner only yesterday. As the weekend progresses, the Prime Minister is braced for further pain as more results trickle in, which could increase pressure on his leadership of the Conservative Party and the country. <laughs>